Shri Guru Bhyonamaha. We are now looking at some of the basic competencies required to run a business, to be an entrepreneur. I have explained to you what a competency is. Let me give a simple example. We are all afraid of uh, snakes, we are afraid of cobras. But there are snake charmers who can catch uh, even a king cobra without any effort. We are all afraid of lions and tigers. We are afraid of elephants. But there are uh, people who tame these animals. They make use of these animals for their uh, use. They know their people. They know with uh, what they have to live. Similarly, an entrepreneur should, do, should know his market. He should know uh, how to promote his business, how to make a product, how to identify a particular uh, gap in the market and how to manufacture, uh, position the product and sell it. So these are the competencies we are discussing. In today's class, uh, let me uh, talk to you about a couple of competencies, very important competencies. The first on the list today is information seeking. It is a very crucial part. You need a lot of information. You cannot afford to do business by trial and error. At every stage, at the time of um, uh, uh, conception of an idea, at the time of developing a product, the design of the product, at the time of manufacturing, at the time of marketing. That is why entrepreneurs spend a lot of time in systematic planning which we are going to see shortly. So, they do a lot of what is called make a note of this market research, market research. They before they start manufacturing the product and marketing it, they won't understand what is called make a note of this uh, phrase also niche market, niche market which means who is going to use their product, why are they going to use their product. Are the prospective customers males or females? Are they adults, senior citizens or adolescents? Are they students or executives? Are they housewives or working women? No, this is the type of information which is very, very relevant. I was just going through some examples of uh, uh, questionnaire. Uh, or uh, market research, uh, uh, there are organizations which do market research. For example, um, are the people aware of a product? You may have a wonderful product, but how many people know that you have a product? Who is using the product? When are they using it? Right? How are they using it? I have a very interesting story to tell you on how are they using it, little while later I will tell you. Where are the users, in which geographic location they are uh, in? How to reach them out? How are you going to advertise? Are they um, uh, uh, glued to their mo mobile phone? If your customers are glued to their mobile phone, the best way to advertise is mobile phone. Senior citizens are not used to mobile phone. Maybe they will be looking at the TV channels. If, you have, if your product is to do with the senior citizens, you have to uh, uh, maybe advertise on newspapers because they are used to reading newspapers. They are used to seeing new, uh, TV channels. How are they using the product? As I said, I have a very interesting story I will tell you at the end of this episode. Where are they purchasing the products? How are they purchasing it? Are they going to the marketplace to buy it? 
or are they ordering it online who is purchasing it who is the decision maker is the housewife the decision maker or the husband for example detergent who is the decision maker obviously most cases is the housewife if you have to purchase a piece of land who is the decision maker mostly it is the husband in consultation with the wife computer for example you may make the product interesting for the students but ultimately the parents play a very important role how the customers purchase the the, the decision tree how are they purchasing the the product and what is the repeat uh, level of the product being purchased are they purchasing it um, uh, uh, once in a lifetime or once a month why are they purchasing it so these are all the information that is required before you launch a product that's what i said um, uh, either a customer can go door to door i mean either uh, the, the either the or the uh, entrepreneurs can either go to door to door to collect this information or there are management consultants who can do it for you today the internet is available in for a, for a variety of purposes analytics is a very interesting uh, science which is developing business analytics so you can hire people so basically information is very very important that's why there is a quotation information is strength then comes systematic planning every entrepreneur has limited resource he has got uh, limited time limited money limited manpower limited material limited machinery so they have to be very very systematic make use make a note of this word productivity and production productivity and production production is whatever that you are producing productivity is per unit of time how much are you producing if you are not systematic you will be producing but the productivity will be question mark for example if you produce 10 pieces and if the 10 pieces are sold properly yes your production is equal to productivity but if you produce 10 pieces only two pieces are sold no matter how much you produce the productivity of the resources make a note of this phrase productivity of the resources productivity of time productivity of material productivity of finance time is very very important systematic planning you have no time to waste make a note of this uh, proverb by oft quote in many of my seminars money loves speed money loves speed why do you want to purchase a refrigerator it saves time there is something to do with time why an air ticket is costly than a train ticket you can reach faster why do you spend more time on a smartphone or not on a land phone because time saving so systematic which mean time material money manpower machinery method resources five m's they call it as you have no time to waste any one of them if you are going to waste no matter how much money you have no matter how much materials you have no matter how much manpower you have no matter how much technology you have at your disposal you are not going to succeed persuasion and influencing others is a very 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 important quality or a competency of an entrepreneur you have to mobilize resources say you have to get material 
So, you have to go and convince, persuade a vendor to sell the power, uh, material, raw material at a cheaper rate. You need to organize manpower. So, you have to go and persuade employees to be at their best. You have to deal with the executives and managing. You have to motivate them, persuade them to give their best. Maybe you are a entering the market in competition with some other product you have to persuade the customers you need money you have to go to a banker and you have to persuade the banker you go to the government they have to give you land they have to give you tax benefit you have to persuade the government maybe you have to get a license you have to persuade the person or you are selling the product it is a, a let us say uh, you are selling chocolates you are selling biscuits you are selling computers you go to a departmental stores he is carrying all the brands you are a new brand your brand is new into the market you have to convince the shop owner to position or already all the uh, detergents are displayed in the shop already you need a place so that the customer should come and see your product first you have to persuade the persons at the counter again those who are in the counter the first point of interaction with the customer you have to convince them supposing there is a new um, uh, uh, drug or a new medicine uh, you are a pharmaceutical uh, company owner you are introducing a new uh, drug for uh, hand sanitizing for example you have to convince the man on the counter the customer will come and ask for a particular brand of hand sanitizer the man on the counter should say try madam this is new in the market persuade you have to persuade the customers you have to convince them mine is the best product available so persuasion and influencing very very important then launching competition co competency enterprise launching competition or enterprise launching you are launching a new company a number of companies are existing to make detergents you are a new company a number of companies are existing uh, to say to sell hand sanitizer you are new in the business so how do you um, uh, launch your company opportunities are there in plenty but all not all people respond to them large groups of society can perceive only the apparent traditional opening for earning similarly resources are also available please understand let's say that you want to make uh, a new variety of uh, mobile phone you are working for a company you are a technical person you want to resign the job you want to mark make and market your own this is what steel job did you have a product you have established a company so you have to launch as i said next time uh, we, if any of your uh, relatives are owning a distributorship company like either chocolates or biscuits or pharmaceutical ask them uh, product launching uh, events go and see how the products are launched similarly uh, companies are also launched recently lot of youtube channels are being launched lot of newspapers are launched lot of digital newspapers are launched lot of books are launched new service companies are being launched and not uh, last but not the least enterprise managing competency it may be small or big the demand could be small or a big on the part of the manager he needs to know how to manage his enterprise how to manage production how to manage finance how to manage market that's why an entrepreneur should be a jack of all trades he may be a master of one not none you know there is a saying jack of all trades master of none no an entrepreneur should be a master of jack of all trades master of something a technical man may start his own company 
So you need all these competency. Now let me tell you a story which I heard long ago. It contains a, a link uh, to uh, the information seeking, how the customers are using the product, who is using the product, what are they using it for, why are they using it. There was a company which was making a facial uh, paste. Now these days people want to look pretty. So they were making a, a cream. The company was also making a hair uh, uh, Vaseline, a cream. You can rub it, apply on the hair. And the information came to them that product is selling out there in a market, a remote island. And people smuggle this uh, uh, hair uh, 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 cream and it is being sold very highly in a, in a big way. And the owner came to know about he was very happy. He called his marketing guys, he called his uh, advisors, look, this is the information I have. This particular island, people are using a product, we are not having a product uh, launched there. Even before it is launched, there is no distributor there. But even without a distributor, it is sold. People smuggled, I believe. Why not we launch it? So systematic planning, you know, what they did? They made a visual how to use this uh, uh, hair uh, cream. So they hired the, uh, the, the most popular hero for the filmy industry, filmy industry with locks of hair, handsome guy okay. and he has to come and uh, say how they are, uh, how he is using it every day. He will come, you know, how the next time you see a TV advertisement in 30 seconds, they convey an important message to you. You feel like buying it immediately. So, the, 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 the model comes out, uh, opens, he comes fresh from the bathroom, uh, 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 he is about to get dressed. So, he takes this and then applies and then combs his hair. There is a sound. So and so is using it. Why not you? So voice over people, a lot of things. So I spent a lot of money in making this commercial. They call it as AV or commercial. And the, the marketing team went to that uh, island, called all the shop owners. So we are going to launch this company here. We are going to launch this product this Sunday onwards. At this particular slot, this advertisement will come. This is our product is being launched. They will say in TV advertisement, in this channel so many times, in this channel so many times, in this language so many times. In this newspaper from this date, there will be an advertisement coming. And they launched it. They launched it and the marketing team was very, very excited. They were waiting for the uh, result. A month later, the sales came down drastically. Nobody was using it. Within three months, there was zero purchase in that island. And the uh, uh, entrepreneur was shocked. Why is that? Earlier, they were purchasing it even without uh, any uh, proper launch. We launched it. But then the information came. The island people were using it, you know, for what? As a bread sandwich. <laughs> they were taking this uh, uh, hair uh, cream, applying it on the bread, roasting it and consuming it, thinking it's a bread sandwich. <laughs> the moment they came to know, no, 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 this is not to be used. This is for hair uh, grooming. They stopped. Now, why am I telling you this uh, story? Um, uh, information is very, very important. Systematic planning is very important. Persuasion skills are very, very important. 
you should know how to launch your uh, enterprise and how to manage you should be in touch with what's happening in the industry read a newspaper every day read at least three newspapers you're all in the school final years these days before a movie is launched the music is launched first because people know and uh, the producers know music is very important component there'll be trailers running even before a yeah, uh, movie is released so these are some of the important um, qualities or con- or uh, um, competencies so just to sum up um initiative creativity we discussed in creativity and innovation we discussed risk taking and risk management we discussed problem solving we discussed leadership qualities we discussed persistence or persu- persistence and consistency or persistence is very very important we discussed quality how the focus on quality is very very important information seeking systematic planning persuasion and influencing others is very very important and how do you launch a company is very very important and enterprise management competencies are also very very important keep thinking keep reading newspapers next time uh, when you watch an advertisement watch it from an entrepreneur's point of view and see how these uh, factors are relevant to you in the next class we are going to discuss a very very interesting topic called ethics ethics what are ethics why ethics are important in business wait for my next class all the best